Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be reacting to a new film trailer and it's a film from the uh, person, uh, Jack Snyder. And the film's name is Army of the Dead and Dev Batista in it. And I have no idea what this film is about. I saw the teaser once and it was like a mercenary team against um, zombies. Um, the get up or the location looks like a little uh, it happened in, inside a casino or something um, but uh, that's what I actually saw t in the teaser Very, uh, not a lot but I hope I'm going to see a lot more in the trailer and it, I can talk about this so let's go guys check this out this trailer now There's two hundred million dollars in the vault beneath the strip. With a thirty-two hour window to get it out. Find the safe. This should be a simple in and out. It's not too late to go back. They're not what you think they are. They're smarter. They're faster. They're organized. That's crossing the line. I don't know why, but this trailer has so much uh, the recent Swiss, uh, the Suicide Squad. To uh, trailer vibe to it, and I really like the uh, background uh, music on this one because it was totally chaos. They actually show a zombie film where zombies are not just uh, walking corpse that have no thinking abilities. They are actually showing zombies who can think, who are smarter, who can fight, who runs fast, and you know all those things in a zombie is more terrifying than you know walking walking corpse and i really liked this idea that uh, yeah they are zombies but they're not dumb they know how to fight and this is something uh, really interesting to me and uh, i'm very much looking forward to watch this one what i really liked about this trailer is that the uh, actions, the sequence, and uh, all those other things. They're not like uh, any other zombie films. You see that you just shoot, you have uh, a special weapon that you can use against zombies. 
This is not the case here. You see uh, this kind of uh, monsters that they're running around uh, killing people who have brains who can think. You need to think a little bit more uh, specifically about this. And uh, you, can you cannot just shoot them all. You have to do something about uh, those uh, thinking zombies. So those actions where you see that they have this hand-to-hand uh, -hand combat with zombies, where they shoot at zombies, where they use other technique at zombies is very, very much unique to me because, uh, in a zombie film. So that's that's one point. Another thing is that I want to talk about a little uh, a little about uh, Dave Batista. Uh, I've known him for a long, long time as a wrestler, and when he became this actor, uh, wise he was doing a very uh, low budget films like you know uh, the last uh, Scorpion King that was horrible. He was there, and uh, then I saw him in this, um, you know, fighting uh, where he killed someone's brother, and then his uh, younger brother comes up with a lot of training, and then he decides to fight him, and then he lose all those stuff, um, all, all those films, and uh, I was like, well, this is typical for a wrestler, you know. Um, you don't know how to do all those uh, acting um, if you're a wrestler. He's a big guy, he should take roles that actually requires a big guy. That's what I thought for a long, long time. Uh, because when you see doing the uh, Rock Johnson, uh, he's doing the same thing. He is choosing films where he is actually uh, act, acting as the bad, uh, big guy, you know? So I thought Dave Batista should do that as well. But then I saw him, not in the Drax, uh, as the uh, Guardian of the Galaxy film. I saw him, he's acting in a short film that was uh, connected to the Blade Runner. Uh, the character that he played in the Blade Runner, uh, his character had a separate short film uh, where he uh, is the main cast on that short film. He played the same character. When I saw that character, I was like, wow, this guy can actually act. This guy know how to act and uh, this guy know how to bring up emotions and stuff. So I was like, okay, my thinking is wrong. This guy deserves a lot, lot more better, um, uh, you know, acting uh, gigs than he's receiving right now. And then slowly but steadily, he's get, he was getting good film offers, good films, uh, working with other uh, great actors. Um, he did, um, you know, got, of course, Guardian of the Galaxy was his turning point of, on his career and he did excellent. And um, he is doing some unique stuff where he's the main cast, but he's not portrayed mostly as a big guy. He is considered to be an intelligent guy as well. So this uh, evolution of Dev Batista's career is very, very uh, amusing to me because I really hoped that he would do something great. And I, I at first I thought uh, I, uh, he should do what the Rock does, but he didn't do that. He did something what an actor do. Uh, when an actor does and he uh, runs with it and he became this uh, good actor um, uh, year by year and he is getting good uh, projects and he is now this uh, working with Jack Snyder in a film where he, I think he is the main cast and uh, I'm very very happy for him. I'm very happy for Doug Batista. I really really liked him from uh, my childhood. I really liked his uh, Batista bomb, <laughs> his uh, signature wrestling move. And uh, then now I'm I'm rooting for him for his uh, acting career. Anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you like this one, and I will be seeing you in the next video as well. Until then, I will take a leave.